we might say sometime never. For the police service, making it a happy new year will mean showing restraint and respecting people even when they are difficult to deal with. It will mean not taking a bribe and certainly not asking for one. It will mean treating the poor and the weak as courteously as you treat the rich and the powerful. For the prison service, making it a happy new year will mean that you are employed not to punish or exploit, but to serve those in prison. It means that the conditions of their cells, of their lavatories, of their leisure areas are as you would wish them to be for yourself. It means recognizing that prisoners and their families are made in the image of God and that if you abuse or ill-treat them, you abuse God himself. All that we do, whether as doctors or nurses, teachers or shopkeepers, builders or drivers, is done for the good of others. It is part of our service of God. If we wish, as we should, a happy new year, it will mean enabling those people to benefit whom we are there to serve. Our patients, our school children, our customers, our clients, our passengers, our congregations. As we recognize this, we shall see that wishing a happy new year is not just a quick and easy greeting, which we forget as soon as we have said it. It means seeking to make the year a happy one for those whom God has appointed us to serve. For all this, we have the wonderful example of Jesus himself. From his humble birth in Bethlehem to his willingness to die on the cross for us, his life was one of service. Indeed, he said that he had come to serve, not to be served, and to give his life for others. All this is expressed vividly on the last light of his life, when he took a towel and a basin of water and stooped down and washed the feet of his disciples, the task of a humble servant. As we follow him, he gives us the strength more and more to live as he lived in the service of God and the service of others. You may think that all this is very demanding, and it is. But that is why at the end of the old year and the beginning of the new year, we turn to God. On New Year's Eve in the Methodist Church, we hold a watch night service. In it, we give thanks to God for the year that is past and confess where we have failed him. And then we commit the year ahead to him, seeking his help and strength. Then on the first Sunday of the year, which this year is on the first day of January, we have a covenant service. In it, in it we affirm that God in his love has called us his people and that we in turn commit ourselves to serve him and others as we say the words, I am no longer my own but yours. As I wish you a happy new year, on behalf of the Methodist Church, I pray that you and I will make it a happy new year for those in our homes and those whom we are called to serve in and through our work. May God bless you throughout the year.
Fellow Gambians, I have the singular honor and pleasure to read the statement of His Excellency the President, Sheikh Professor Al Haji Dr. Yaya A.G.J. Jami, as a new year is once again ushered in. And his statement reads as follows Awuzu billahi minas Satan rajim, Bismillah rahman rahim. Fellow Gambians, and friends of the Gambia, and all others resident in the Gambia. I want to thank Subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost for making it possible for us to grace yet another year in peace, progress, and prosperity. Today indeed provides a moment of reflection on positive strives as well as challenges we face in our quest to achieve this noble goal the goals of our vision 2020. It is also a moment for prayers as we look forward to Allah's continued guidance and protection in all that is good for ourselves, our families, 